there's no quarterback in the NFL that is a flat-out better player than Deshaun Watson. Two years ago, Stephen A., two years ago, there was conversations of, well, if Deshaun Watson was drafted to the same place as Patrick Mahomes, would he be doing the same stuff as Patrick Mahomes? And that's when Patrick was taking the league by absolute storm. There, I mean, there's not, there's not a, a quarterback that you sit there and go, that guy's unequivocally a better player. He's just been in a really bad situation in Houston. I mean, his tape is out of this world. Stephen A., in 2020, Deshaun Watson completed over 70% of his passes and had over 8.5 yards an attempt. Now, for everybody at home, that matters because when you're completing a high clip of passes, 70-plus percent, oftentimes it could be because you're just throwing the ball short. Those are easy. When you're going 8.5 yards per attempt, that oftentimes will lead the NFL. There's been four other guys in the history of the league who have done that, okay? Again, 8.5 yards per attempt or more, 70% completion percentage. It was last year Joe Burrow, he went to the Super Bowl. It was 2000, Drew, 2009 Drew Brees, he went to the Super Bowl. It was 1994 Steve Young, he went to the Super Bowl. It was 1989 Joe Montana, he went to the Super Bowl. When Deshaun Watson did in 2020, they were 4-12. and That's a bad football team. I mean, what about, what, what can he do or what can other guys do in, with their game that Deshaun can't? I, I, we, we've got to get out of this world in the NFL of, like, who's the top five quarterback? We don't have five top quarterbacks. We've got ten quarterbacks in the league. This is a new era in the NFL. There are, there are not five elite. There is no top five. There's ten. There are ten guys at that position in the NFL that they're all the same, that you can win many games and Super Bowls because of them. There's not a guy in the NFL on the field talent-wise that is just flat out better than Deshaun Watson. You're wrong. Um, Aaron Rodgers is better. No, he's not. No, yes, he's he not. Is. yes, he is. No, he's not. Yes, he is. What? Yes, he is. Oh, how? Excuse how? me. I, I don't have to. He's a reigning two-time league MVP, and I continuously throw out numbers over and over and over again about him, as have you. So let's go to the eye test and understand something here, okay? And I understand that I'm talking to an exceptional aficionado in the NFL who played the quarterback position. I won't hold the fact that it was for the Detroit Lions against you, which is football purgatory. I'll let that go today. But here's the bottom line. Here's the bottom line, okay? I mean, well, then again, I will bring it up because when you're a Detroit Lion, everybody looks good to you. I mean, that's entirely possible, okay? I mean, everything is on the way up. Deshaun Watson, let's, uh, let's understand this. This brother is a stud, and I get all of that. But what I'm saying to you is that when I think about Patrick Mahomes, when I think about Aaron Rodgers, when I think about the seven-time champion that is Tom Brady, when I think about everything that involves the quarterback position, it's not just your passing ability. It's not just your ability to run. It's the decision-making that you exercise, not to mention the leadership that you exert. All of these things come into play. It's why you rave about Tom Brady. We know that Tom Brady ain't the athlete that Deshaun Watson is. We know that. But somehow, some way, his impact on winning football games is incredibly profound because of how cerebral he is with the game of football. So we get that, and we take that into consideration. Well, we can't take that into consideration about Tom Brady and ignore it about Aaron Rodgers. And then when you take into account Patrick Mahomes and how he was balling, we certainly said, I was the one who said, Tyreek Hill, Travis Kelsey, give Deshaun Watson those weapons and see what he does as well. But that wasn't to sit up there and to say he was better than Patrick Mahomes. It was to say, excuse me, he's in that conversation. He's in that ballpark. He's on the one on the come up and whatever. When I look at the top quarterbacks in the National Football League, I think about Tom Brady. I think about Aaron Rodgers. I think about Patrick Mahomes. And then... As I was explaining to Mad Dog Russo yesterday, Deshaun Watson is in that conversation with everybody else. But there's a top three, as far as hold I'm on. concerned, that hold we on. look at and we go and we stop right there. What's the problem? No. Now, hold on, hold on for a second. Last year was a down year for Patrick Mahomes, in my estimation. But we can't give Deshaun Watson any credit for that because he's been out the whole year. So we didn't see him at all last year. Okay, that was a down that year for Patrick Mahomes. make him a Mahomes. lesser player. Hold on. So, Stephen A., you mean to tell me that you don't believe that Josh Allen is in that top group? Yeah, I believe he's in the top group. I just well, said. Well, you just said, no, 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 you no, just no. said, said it was. Tell me, I said my top three. But what I'm saying, I'm not trying to say that there's a drop off from that. But, I'm saying when I think about the top three quarterbacks in the National Football League, it's those three. And then I think about the Josh Allens, the Deshaun Watsons of the world, and Gerald, Joe Burrows of the world, the Justin Herberts of the world, guys like that. They're all in the Lamar, same conversation. Russell. But that's Russell my Wilson, point. Of course, Russell Wilson. Of course, Russell Wilson. And Lamar Wilson, Jackson. That's my point. And Matthew and Stafford. Lamar There's 10 what, guys. What, what, time out, time There's out. 10. La- Lamar Jackson. I mean, I'm not denying that that's 10. I'm just saying 
that I think the top three is not debatable. I don't think it's I'll debatable. Mahomes, Rodgers, and Brady. That's what it's, I'm saying. It's 100% debatable. I will ask you this. Okay. If you took Deshaun, who, who do you think are, like, the best teams in the NFL right now? I know it's March 17th. Like, it, the Buffalo Bills are Super Bowl contenders. Well, 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 if the, you put, uh, the Rams are Super Bowl champions. The Buffalo Bills are Super Bowl contenders. Okay, if you got Kansas if you, City. Cincinnati was in the Super Bowl. Can't ignore that. Green Bay was, should have been there. Can't ignore that. Sarah if you Francisco. put Deshaun Watson on the Buffalo Bills, are they still an elite Super Bowl contender? Yes. How about that on the Los Angeles Rams? No, no. Let me stop you. You put Deshaun Watson on any team, they're a Super Bowl contender. On so any how of those can good you teams. sit here? Any of those good teams. Any of those so good teams. So how can teams. you sit here and say that any of those quarterbacks are better? I'm just He's saying that playing. Aaron Rodgers. Hold on. We're talking Aaron Rodgers, Tom Brady, and Patrick Mahomes. When you think about the top quarterbacks in the National Football League, those three names are going to come up first. And so if, I took, if I took Deshaun Watson and I put him on the Kansas City Chiefs right now, do you still have the same view of the Kansas City Chiefs as you do when they have Patrick Mahomes? I still do, do but in the same I'm talking about, I still do, but in the same breath, I've seen Deshaun Watson perform very well in the playoffs, and I've seen him tail off in the playoffs. What I'm saying to you is that just because I might see him in that light doesn't mean that he would specifically do what Patrick Mahomes has done. I believe he can. But based on what we have seen thus far, I think you're looking at Mahomes, Rodgers, and Brady, and you get what you get. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.